Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is the second part of section 3-4. It's modeling and using graph functions. Okay, so uh, don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. And so we're going to use a graph to find the value of f of x when x equals negative 2 for each. So we have a couple of problems here. Here's the first one. Okay, this one's a line. It's not squared, so it's not a parabola. It's just x to the first power. Remember, this is y. y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. Uh, if, there, if it's to the first power, it's just going to be a line. And so the shortcut here, you guys, is, is, and I know you've seen this before too, this is called the y-intercept. It's where it intercepts the y-axis right here at 3. So there it is up there at 3. There's 2, there's 4, so it's right in the middle at 3. And then we use this little number right here. This is called our slope right here. I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, this lesson doesn't talk about this shortcut right here, but I think you've seen it before. This number represents our slope, and our slope is rise over run. I don't know where they got that M for slope, but they did. And since rise over run equals this negative one-half, always put the negative in the top. And this negative just tells us that we're going to go down. Go down one, and then we always go to the right on the bottom number. So here we're going to go to the right two. Okay, remember these are going by two, so if I go down one, to the right too, it's going to be right there. So let's put a point right there. And then it's a line. We just connect them up right here. Again, I know it's a line because it's just x right there. We can use a table. In fact, your book uses a table and plugs in a bunch of x values. You're going to get that nice straight line anyways. The, sh the shorter way, if it's in y equals mx plus b form, do the b first and then use your slope to get your next point. All right, now, so we've graphed it, so now we're going to uh, estimate when x equals negative 2. So what we're going to do is now locate x equals negative 2 on the x-axis. Here's the x-axis right here. So here's x equals negative 2. We're going to draw a vertical line. So vertical means go straight up to the graph right up here. Going to draw a vertical line from x equals negative 2 on the x-axis right up to the graph right there. And then from here we go straight over a horizontal line over to the y-axis. And so right there, if you can see it right there, this uh, horizontal line is intersecting it at y equals 4. Okay, so when we're, we're looking to find the value of f of x, which remember f of x just equals y, so where does it hit on the y-axis right here? So here's x equals negative 2. Go up to the graph and go straight over. It tells you how much it goes up. It goes up to 4. So, so that's our answer. f of negative 2 equals 4 right there. All right, let's try another one, you guys. Okay, so here's another one. All right, so this one's up here at plus 4. Let's go do the plus 4. Again, it's a line because that's just x to the first right there. So there's the plus 4. And then the slope is rise over run. So up 3 to the right 2. So up, there's 2. There's 3 to the right 2. So we'll put a, another point right there. Okay, there it is right there. We're going to connect it up, and then now we're going to use uh, x equals negative 2. So we're going to go to the left negative 2, up to the graph. We want to see how high it goes up, and then go over. It looks like at 1 right there. So here, f of negative 2 equals 1 right there. So once you get the line graph, then you draw a vertical line to the graph and over right there. Okay? All right, so here's a cool one here. The mid-Atlantic ridge separates the North and South American plates from the Eurasian and African plates. Uh, so let's check this out, you guys. Let me let me show you this here. I think it's kind of cool. So uh, I didn't know what this was till I got to this lesson. So there's the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge right there. I knew there was a ridge down there. Um, and so it's the ridge, and it keeps separating right here. It kind of looks like these two bodies uh, of land right here were connected once upon a time. Okay, let me go put that back here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, maybe I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, uh, the function y equals um, 2.5x relates the, the number of centimeters y uh, that the mid-Atlantic ridge spreads after x years. So let's graph that function and use the graph to estimate how many centimeters uh, the mid-Atlantic ridge spreads in 4.5 years. Okay, remember that the y is uh, the spread right here, and the, the x is how many years, okay? So, so here we're going to go ahead and make this graph right here. So the function y equals 2.5x is what they gave us. Describes how many centimeters the mid-Atlantic ridge spreads after x years, okay? And we're only using non-negative, which means no negatives. We're not using negatives, so we're only going to be dealing with the first quadrant, so we don't have to worry about quadrant 2, quadrant quadrant 3, quadrant 4, only quadrant 1 because everything's positive right here, okay? 
So we only need to use the first quadrant, and we'll use uh, the graph to find uh, the values of y. Okay, so this is y equals 2.5x plus 0. So let's go ahead and put a 0 right there. And to do our slope, since the slope is 2.5 over 1, it's kind of hard to do 2.5 over 1. So what I did right here is I multiplied 2.5 over 1 times 1, so it won't change the value. But it gives us nice whole numbers. 2.5 times 2 is 5, and 1 times 2 is 2. So the slope is also 5 halves. Well, here I can go up 5 over 2. So here's up 2, 4, 5, and then over 2. Up 5 over 2. Up 5 over 2. So we can keep doing that forever. It just makes a nice straight line. Now we're going to go ahead and use that graph. Uh, to estimate the y value when x is 4.5. So let's go over to 4.5. So here's uh, here's 4, here's 5. So here's 4.5. Go straight up, go straight over. Here's 8, here's 10. 11's right about there. It's just past 11. So we're going to estimate it, you guys. Mid the Mid-Atlantic Ridge spreads about oh, 11. Uh, 0.25 centimeters. If you said 11 centimeters or 11.5 centimeters, I would take that, and I'm sure your teacher would also. It's kind of hard to see right here. So about um, 11.25 centimeters after four and a half years or 4.5 years right there. Okay. So and it says justify and evaluate. Well, the distance of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge spread increases as the number of years increases. So the graph does seem reasonable because when it means that when this number gets bigger, this number gets bigger, and that just means your graph is going up right there, okay? So uh, when x is between 4 and 5 right here, so if we go up right here, y is between, looks like between, I don't know, 10 and 12, so 10 or 12.5, I don't know. If you said 10 and 12, that's okay right there. Okay, and since 4.5 is between 4 and 5, it's reasonable to estimate the y to be uh, that 11.25, okay? Or if you said 11.5 or even just 11, I'm sure your teachers would be okay. All right, here's another one here, you guys. A cruise ship is currently 5 kilometers away from its port and is traveling away from the port at 15 kilometers per hour. So the function y equals 15x plus 5 relates the number of kilometers y uh, that the ship will be from its port x hours from now. So how far will the cruise ship be from its port in two and a half hours? All right, well, let's go ahead and graph this, you guys. Here's that plus 5 right there, right there at plus 5. Okay, and then we're going to use the slope up 15 over 1. I think your book makes a table on this, you guys. I think it's easier now to use the slope up 15 over 1. So here is um, uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, and then these spaces going to the right are 1. So up 15 over 1. Okay, so there's our graph right there. So now we can use the graph to estimate the y value when x is 2.5. Okay, so here's 2, here's 3, so 2.5. We're going to go straight up and then straight over, and that'll give us our y value right there. Okay, so it looks like it's, here's 40, here's 45, so it looks like right in the middle between 40 and 45, so about, uh, this cruise ship's going to be about 42.5 kilometers uh, from the port two and a half hours from now. All right, and then so when x is between 2 and 3 right here, they just want us to justify this, then, then y is going to be between, uh, uh, here's 2 right here, uh, right there, and then 3 is right there, so y is going to be somewhere between, I don't know, 30, 35 right there, and then 50 right there. You see how it's 35 and 50? Anyway, so uh, 42.5 kilometers does seem like a reasonable answer. If you're in my class, that would be your assignment right there. And if you guys could, like always, can you give us a like right there and take care of you guys.